Hey guys, we're back with Guy Baker and Kimberly Dudick, and we're talking about um, anti-human trafficking in Montana. So what can you guys tell us about this? Well, we are going to be having a conference this Friday. It's called the Stop Human Trafficking in Montana Conference, and it's part of three events. We'll have a red sand project at 730, where participants come and they get a small packet of red sand that they then spread in cracks, and it signifies people falling through the cracks to raise awareness of victims of human trafficking. We then have a full day conference starting at 8.30 and we'll kick it off with Senator John Tester and Attorney General Tim Fox. We're then blessed with a lot of great speakers including Detective Guy Baker who's here with me and others who will tell us all about human trafficking in Montana and how to recognize the signs of human trafficking and how to appropriately respond. And we close the day with a 5K run walk around the university campus. Oh, nice. Yeah, 5.30, so that'll be fun. Great. So, uh, Guy, w w what is your experiences with uh, human trafficking here? So, myself and uh, a DCI agent and an FBI agent in Billings, the three of us probably have worked the most human trafficking cases uh, around the state. And it's been pretty consistent for the last three or four years with uh, an increase in the Missoula area probably due to better awareness after we uh, trained our patrol officers and they have a better understanding of what they're seeing. Yeah, what to look for. And so, um, how common is human trafficking in Montana? It's more common than people would think and a lot of people have the, the misperception that this is a crime that occurs in other countries or in large cities in other states when in fact it happens all over the country and it happens here in Missoula and in Montana. So. Um, it's more frequent than people think, as is the sex industry and, and child exploitation, because people are just not aware of it. Yeah. Um, but it's something that's happened, happening daily in Missoula. That's terrible. Yeah. I had no idea. So what are some of the signs that people hmm. should look for? So uh, people that work in the hotel industry, um, there's a lot of different uh, venues in which sex trafficking takes place, and that could include hotels, uh, truck stops, uh, private residences, but it's very commonly online uh, and facilitated in hotels. So suspicious activity, people coming and going from hotel rooms, um, non-age appropriate adults with younger females uh, is a common sign and, and you know, uh, traffic that's, that's excessive for a hotel area or a uh, residence. Mm -hmm. wow. And so if people do see something like this, uh, who can they tell? How can they get like them help? Uh, if they see the suspicious activity, we encourage them to call 911 and report it just like okay. they would anything else that would uh, mm -hmm. you know, pique their attention to think that it might be criminal. So just call 911 we'd get the ball rolling. There's also an organization called the Polaris Project that looks at states and their rates of human trafficking. They have a 1-800 number, it's the National Human Trafficking Resource Center number, and they can call that and get more information about human trafficking and, and find out more if they want. Um, speaking of more, um, you have an event that's coming up this Friday, yes. so let's talk a little bit more about this event and what, what, what people can expect from it. Okay, well at 730, like I said, is the Red Sand Project. It will be at the University of Montana oval and people will get red sand to spread on the oval there. Commissioner Stacy Rye will be there to speak a bit about human trafficking and how important she thinks it is that people learn about the signs and the signs of human trafficking. And then the event, um, people who come to the event, the conference, it is at the University Center in the North Ballroom. And they can expect to learn from experts about human trafficking in Montana, what the signs are, as Detective Baker was just saying, and then how to appropriately respond. And we have people there from law enforcement, from the Attorney General's office, from Homeland Security. We'll have an officer there speaking of their Homeland Security campaign. It's called the Blue Campaign. And the conference is free to people who want to come. Lunch is provided. And if people want continuing education credits for being a social worker or a therapist, an attorney, or in law enforcement, those are offered for a small fee of $35. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's it's nothing. great. Yeah. And then also we have the 5K run, and so that's just a fun way to close the day and just raise awareness and come together as a community. And so tell us about the Montana Anti-Trafficking Project. Sure, so that's an organization that I started after my first term in the legislature. I became aware of human trafficking, as um, Detective Baker said, most people don't know about it. And, and I really didn't know about it until my first term, and I realized it's modern-day slavery. The most typical victim is a 12 to 14-year-old girl. 
and if they get involved in the sex industry, only 2% of them ever get out. So it really can devastate children and young, young women especially, people from disadvantaged populations where they don't have a lot of economic opportunity or perhaps they're in the foster care system, they're very vulnerable. So um, I decided that we needed to do more in our state to raise awareness and so we started the organization and been working at it with um, people like Detective Baker, putting on a conference like this, we've had two runs, done different speaking events and we're just trying to raise awareness of this issue and make it more part of the everyday conversation in our state because people need to be aware of it. I agree. I honestly always, I mean, when I think about human sex trafficking, I totally think about like other countries and bigger cities. And like, I think about like North Dakota and the Bakken because that's where I've heard about it the most. But I don't ever think about it like maybe it's at a hotel down the street from where I live. Right. And that's really scary. And so it's really good that you guys are doing this. And uh, so how can people, how can you spread awareness? Like how can people become more aware about this? Well, they can, they can come to the conference on Friday, first of all. They yeah. can come to that. But they can also, they can reach out to the um, anti-trafficking project. Project. We will do any outreach. They can also educate themselves and talk to people about it. It shouldn't be something that we're afraid to talk about. It's a crime that goes on in our state, and it's up to us as a community to stop it. Yeah, I agree. You know, one thing that's important is a lot of people, uh, they confuse sex trafficking with prostitution. And a prostitute would be someone who on their own volition is engaging in commercial sex acts, where a trafficking victim is someone who is being compelled through force, fraud, or coercion to engage in commercial sex acts at somebody else's benefit. So, you know, the old adage or belief that you know, they're just prostitutes, um, if they're not choosing to do this, I mean, they're living a terrible life and one that sometimes it just takes one person in the justice system or the community to help them kind of a knight in shining armor that can help them get out of a terrible situation by reporting it. Yeah, I agree. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Uh, where can people find more information? They can go to the Montana Anti-Trafficking Project website and they can register for the events that we'll be having. They can also just come to the university. The uh, conference starts at 830 if they want to come or participate in the other events and they can reach out. All the information is available there online. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for coming on our show this morning. Thank you.